Hi everyone, Jen Foster here. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, get this thing to work well. My screen is a little dark, so I don't know how it's going to show up on your end, but uh, yeah, I'm just over here hiding from my kids trying to record this video. <laughs> so if there's any interruptions, any kids come in, you hear any screaming in the background, I sincerely apologize. I'm still believing the Lord for a full-time babysitter for when I record these videos. But till then, please bear with me. Thank you. <laughs> um, but I was actually going to write uh, this word on the, on Facebook, uh, but it was extremely long. I don't, I don't think uh, that uh, writing it down would it really uh, given it justice, uh, made it justice. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know exactly what is uh, done it justice. I guess that's the right word to say. English is not my first language. Um, so I try, I try, um, but, um, uh, the title that the Lord gave me for this was, um, butterfly. I was in prayer and the Lord literally interrupted me and, um, I, I, I felt, and I saw at the same time, um, uh, many saints, many people sitting in churches, um, and at first they were like little, but, uh, little caterpillars. They were just sitting there in the pews. They were just cute little caterpillars. And then they just sitting there for a long time eating and eating and receiving of the word and they were just getting fatter and fatter and fatter and uh they were getting more and more frustrated because they were receiving so much at first it was really good and enjoyable and yum 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 you know they were eating it eating it up and they were so excited and it's so good such a good word but then after a, a while they were getting fatter and fatter and fatter and they were beginning to look at themselves, beginning to feel uncomfortable, trying to figure out, well, um, I know so much by now. And there was almost like a guilt uh, that was setting into them at first. Of, well, I know so much. Um, they're like uh, what Paul says, you should be teachers by now. And they were beginning to feel that way. Like, well, I should be doing something with all this knowledge that I have. But they were not finding an outlet. They were not finding a, a way to express themselves they were not finding a way to minister they were not really being given the opportunities to minister and then after a while uh, they were beginning to wonder um were they even called to the ministry were they even chosen by the lord many of them began to lose hope and then i felt like a great darkness set over many of them as they began to feel hopeless they began to feel forgotten um they began to feel uh, many of them alone and um I wrote it uh, down and said, uh, it's dark, lonely, and at times painful, and uh, you feel stripped. Um, but this is what the Lord said. Uh, he said uh, to me as I was literally, I felt like that, like I was in a dark, cold place. There was some pain. I felt very vulnerable. I felt scared. Um, and this was a, an, a um, not really a natural experience. It was more of a spiritual thing, and I felt like this wasn't for me. Uh, only really necessarily but this was for many of you and uh, I heard the Lord said I have not forgotten you but I'm hiding you and protecting you from all predators you are not being ignored but being prepared in the cocoon of my destiny for you being set apart to be unveiled do not try to force or speed up the process your wings are not yet ready I don't want them broken. And in this uh, area, as, as the Lord was telling me this, I could see the little butterfly was struggling, trying to get out of the cocoon, but he wasn't ready. The, wing, the wings were not really fully formed yet. And the Lord was saying, slow down. You know, he was kind of looking like, kind of with concern. Do not speed up the process is what he said. Do not try to speed up the process. I don't want the wings to be broken. I want them beautiful, strong, and able to fly a long distance. For that's where I will take you, far and wide to the land I promised your ancestors. What others could not possess and lay hold of in this season, you will lay hold of and possess through my spirit. As the armies of heaven will stand behind you, fly high, fly long, and fly wide, and see from great heights all that you will possess in this new season. I will protect you from the harshness of the rain and the bitter winters. I will be your refuge in the warmth you so seek. I will be your sun. And then I saw this uh, beautiful butterfly. Uh, and I heard um, 
the Lord said, Carrier of my presence, sorry, carrier of my promise and my covenant of mercy with my people. Um, and the thing about the butterfly is that the butterfly that I saw was, was not just an ordinary butterfly. It wasn't a butterfly that I had seen before. This butterfly was very peculiar. Uh, his wings, uh, its wings were, uh, they sparkled and they were like the color of a rainbow. Uh, they were, um, how do you say that? They were like a translucent, um, rainbowy color. And it, it, when it flew, like, uh, it almost like it sparkled and it also left like a, like, almost like a, like a gold dust, like, or like a, how do, how do I say? It's almost like when it was flying that it was leaving behind like a uh, glitter. Like it was like a, like a little, like a little trail of glitter was left behind it, um, as they would fly. And um, also what the Lord was reminding me of um, was um, that um, many times, you know, when a woman has a miscarriage, uh, the baby that comes after that miscarriage, after that fail uh, pregnancy, uh, the term they have given it in the world, and I think it's very fitting, is called the rainbow baby. And I feel like for many of you, this season that the Lord has you on, it's it's been hard. It's been trying. You have felt stripped, literally stripped. You have felt like you were in the dark. And um, I feel like this is your rainbow baby season. I'm sorry. I had that planned on getting on emotional and everything. And this is not normal for me. But I felt this very strongly. Many of you have lost hope of ever being used in ministry. Because you've been sitting in churches for such a long time. And you would get little opportunities to do a little bit of ministry here and there. But you wonder, Father God, my only desire is to please you, Lord. I, I just want to do what you call me to do. And you know that you're called. You know that you're chosen. You know that you're supposed to do ministry. But you've had failed attempts at planting churches. Failed attempts at starting ministries. And I feel like this is your rainbow season. The Lord is making you into that rainbow butterfly to minister hope and, um, and grace and love to so many that feel forgotten, they feel um, stripped, they feel like their season has passed them by. And um, I also heard um, all things uh, are being made new. Um, so it's time to decree... Uh, his desire to love, restore, and to save the lost. Amen. Um, it's time for you um, to release His love and His saving grace as you decree all that He has done for you. And, and share that free gift of salvation with other people. Um, it's a free gift that many don't know it's available to them because they've been taught to strive through religion and through good works and they need to know that we serve a good God. Amen. His desire is not for judgment and for punishment. His desire is for for grace and for restoration. His word says that he desires that none would perish but that all would come to repentance. So let others know that those who are in Christ are a new creation. Amen. Um, just as you two will no longer be uh, a consumer but a carrier of the glory and your beautiful wings will take you to the places your little caterpillar feet could never dream of um his goodness and his mercy i really feel very strongly uh will amaze you in this season uh he's changing your very dna i felt that very strongly he's changing your very dna um uh, into that of christ uh you're gonna be a carrier of his heart you're gonna look like christ as you allow him to to shape you in that cocoon and you're going to be so unrecognizable that men will not be able to label you. Amen. The church is not going to be able to label you. The world is not going to be able to label you because you're going to be literally a species that has never been seen before. You're going to be so different from anything else that's been done up to this point. Anything else the Lord has done up to this point. Any new movement. Any old movement. This is something completely new. It's a new movement and it begins with you. Amen. And um, also uh, I heard um, this... Uh, 
you will experience and and something that i could see you will experience many new tastes many new sounds throughout the nations as you see everything god is doing around the world and your message will remain mercy and restoration of all things come into the house of the lord he alone is the one true god and I could literally see a little butterfly traveling through different countries, through different nations, tasting of different tastes in the different flowers, the different colors, the different sounds of worship around the nations. Um, and you will see the many different expressions of, of Christ throughout the nations and throughout different movements that God is doing right now in the body of Christ so that you will not be able to uh, say, well, God is only doing this. God is only doing that. Uh, God is a multifaceted God, and I think many times we try to put God in a box. But as you become his little rainbow butterfly, you will see all the many different expressions of the body of Christ throughout the nations, throughout uh, the different nationalities, even throughout the different denominations. Amen that the Lord has established. So I just want to encourage you today um, to trust and hope again. The Lord is not done with you. The Lord has not forgotten you. Perhaps you feel stripped. Perhaps you feel forgotten. Perhaps you feel alone. Perhaps you even feel vulnerable and you have felt some pain in this season. Uh, but I just want to encourage you. His cocoon of preparation is there for a reason. He's keeping you secure. He's protecting you from predators. He's protecting you from every work of darkness. He does not want the enemy to be able to see what he's doing in you. That's why he has you hidden. He's not going to reveal his plans he's not going to reveal his secret weapon to the enemy which is you so trust in the lord with all your heart amen um be not dismayed do not rely on your understanding um i also feel um the lord is really impressing this upon my heart um in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path amen so let me just pray for you real quick i'm running out of time here Father God, I just pray for everyone who's watching this video. I thank you, Lord God, that you are the restorer of hope. You promise to make all things new in this season. And I thank you that you're making your people that sacred weapon, which is your little rainbow butterfly, small enough to fit into every crevice, and yet mighty, beautiful, and powerful, and majestic enough that all will see the beauty of the Lord through them. Thank you, Father God, for your faithfulness and for all you're doing in your people in this hour. I decree blessing, prosperity, and I decree all things new in this season. In Jesus' mighty name, He's turning your ashes into beauty. Amen. God bless you.